my art project. Over the course of three weeks, I spent a large portion of my time collecting different plastic products that were in the art room or used by either me or my family to cover the entire surface of a whale that I made. During that time, I began to realize just how much plastic the five members of my family use in such a short amount of time. Although a very large portion of the plastics I collected would have been recycled, simple things like plastic grocery bags, disposable lids, cups and straws, probably would have been thrown away and eventually made their way to either the landfill, where they would stay and never break down, or to a nearby river that would transport them directly into the ocean. Once this reality hit me, I knew it was something that I needed to do whatever I could to change. Since then, I've made sure that any plastic products my family or I use are recycled. I've also started to use that extra one minute it takes to fill up a water bottle, as opposed to just simply grabbing a plastic bottle from the fridge. Despite these simple changes made to my day-to-day -day life, nothing, and I mean nothing, is going to fix the masses of plastic polluting our world unless we take that difficult step to stop using plastic when we can and dispose of it properly when we can't. Driving through my very own community and seeing the dozens of plastic bags hanging limply from tree branches by the river and envisioning the pounds of plastic I throw away each year, I started to put myself into the position of the marine animals suffering every day because of this. I started to imagine swimming through the clearest, most picturesque ocean. Surrounding me is a field of exotic coral and fish of colors I didn't even know existed on the color wheel. I look around and see nothing but boundless water. I am completely at peace. I blink my eyes just to make sure what I'm looking at is 100% reality. But when I open my eyes, there are no more fish, no more bright colors, and no more limitless ocean. Instead, every single square inch, as far as I can see, is entirely contaminated with ugly, dirt-filled plastic. The once purely beautiful world that appeared completely untouched by a single human is now an artificial plastic wasteland, incapable of returning to its original form. Right now, several thoughts may be running through your mind. Number one, there's no possible way this is ever going to become a reality. Number two, even if it does become true, I don't live anywhere near an ocean, so it's not going to affect me. Or number three, yeah, there's plastic polluting our world, but it's not that bad, so there's no need to worry about it. Well, I hate to break it to you, but in many places around the world today, this already is a reality. And if we don't begin doing something about it now, in the next 30 or so years, it will become a reality in large portions of every single major body of water on Earth. And whether you choose to accept it or not, this will ultimately affect the lives of nearly every person in the world because it will cause dramatic changes to the way our world functions. Plastic pollution, although it is a rather new issue in the wide scheme of things, is a problem that is taking such a huge toll on our environment that it needs to be solved today, not 10 years from today. One of the major contributors to this problem is simply lack of awareness, because a major portion of society is not informed about the effects of plastic pollution and absence of recycling. So let's start with some facts. According to EarthDay.org, nearly 9 million tons of plastic is dumped into the ocean every year. 1.3 million plastic bags are used globally every single minute. The US alone uses over 500 million plastic straws every single day, which is enough to circle the entire Earth twice. The 
The most haunting part is that if production isn't curbed, plastic pollution will outweigh fish pound for pound by the year 2050. Take a second and imagine that. In just 31 short years, hundreds, maybe even thousands of species of fish just like these will be completely wiped out. No more emperor angelfish, no more Moorish idol, and no more lionfish. Instead, just plastic, plastic, and more plastic. For all of these issues and more, we are responsible. You, me, all of us. It is because of our own carelessness regarding waste management that there isn't a single square mile of surface ocean anywhere on the entire earth that is free of plastic pollution. These vast swirls of plastic rubbish on the ocean surface, horrifying as they are, are only the tip of the iceberg. What lies beneath are the masses of broken down plastic particles that are easily ingested by sea creatures and impossible to remove. Now, I'm not saying that we should drop plastic altogether, because we can't do that. We're already living in a world consumed by plastic. It's in the consumer goods that fill our stores, the single-use packaging we discard, and even in our clothing, which sheds microplastic fibers in the wash. I'm simply saying that we need to begin paying more attention to what we use and how we dispose of it. Because of all of the plastic consuming our world, only 9% of it even gets recycled. And since most plastics don't biodegrade in any meaningful sense, the remaining 91% could exist for hundreds or even thousands of years. Contrary to what most people believe, solving this problem doesn't need to require changing laws, lobbying politicians, or even involving the government. There are three simple steps everyone, no matter the age, can take to aid this problem. Number one, stop using disposable plastics such as single-use cutlery, plastic wraps, plastic straws, plastic bottles, and plastic bags. Instead, bring your own bag or carry a reusable water bottle. And number two, recycle. It seems obvious, but we're not doing a great job of it. Less than 14% of plastic packaging is recycled. When we dump waste into nature, very large portions of it find their way into our oceans, where they most likely will never get removed. And number three, volunteer to pick up plastic and trash at your local waterway, a beach cleanup organization, or just around your community. If we don't begin removing this plastic from our oceans, the mountains of trash will only grow. Although a bigger solution will most likely be needed in the future, taking these simple steps to aid the problem while we still have a chance to turn things around will significantly benefit the well-being of our environment. So the next time you're at a restaurant and you're about to grab a straw to put in your water, or throw away that plastic bottle you just finished drinking out of, take a second to stop and imagine what would happen if everyone else did exactly what you are doing right now and adjust. I promise you, the Earth will thank you for it. Thank you. <laughs>